What's going on Sentry Unit is the Central Man here so this is my predictions for WWE Hell in the Cell 2020. Um hope this year's Hell in the Cell event is way better than, than last year's Hell in the Cell pay-per-view because that was a bad show including one of the worst Hell in the Cell matches of all time you know Seth Rollins versus The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Anyway uh, this weekend is wrestling weekend um, we got this Saturday, Bound for Glory 2020, I did a predictions for that show yesterday. Go and check it out if you're not subscribed to the channel. And then this show, Hell in the Cell 2020. So far we got four matches uh, on the card so far. No new matches to be confirmed. Might do a bonus uh, video, you know, who, what match is going to be. In this this year's Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. Anyway, oh uh, yeah, we've got four matches on the card. Three of them, yeah, we got not just one Hell in the Cell match, not two Hell in the Cell match. We got three Hell in the Cell matches for this year's um, event. First time since the 2009 event. You know, I ch uh, I covered that show on the channel. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, way over killing. So, yeah, and this is for the WWE, Universal, and SmackDown Women's Championships. And also, we got, so far, only one non towel match. Uh, I'm going to cover that match first. Uh, we got Jeff Hardy versus the return of Elias. Elias returned. You know, he made his return on Raw, you know, doing his concert. Uh, yeah, Jeff Hardy uh, interact, really, uh, really beat down Elias. During his concept, it's basically you know typical Elias shtick. You know I like Elias, but you know I can see it be a be, this match is a pre-show match. You know I don't think it's gonna be on a main show if there's no new matches added to the Hell in the Cell 2020 card. Um, Elias, wow! For the last three years, Elias is a jobber. I like Elias, but he, they bought him like a joke. You know, he's a good wrestler, you know, he has a good character. And what they done? Book him like a loser. Whether he's a baby face or a heel. And the only championship he won so far is yeah, the the twenty four seven belt. The twenty four seven belt. That's the only title Elias he won. You know, that's mostly feuding with R Truth. Uh don't get me started with this twenty four seven belt. That is a a jobber's belt. Just a mockery of the hardcore belt. Anyway, so yeah, I'm uh, you know I don't see Jeff Hardy. I can see Jeff Hardy winning this match, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Elias. Elias, you know I think he needs to win. You know, you know, you know he's just like, like they they poorly book Elias. He's a fit of a bad book, and he's got the character, but you know have him win matches. Don't have him. Doing these squash matches. It's just basically ruined this guy's credibility. I like Jeff Hardy. Don't get me wrong. But so far I think Jeff Hardy haven't won a match yet. I think he... Let me think. In my my notable memory. He lost to Sheamus at... I think it was at Backlash. Um, He didn't have a match uh, at SummerSlam. Because he, fought, he won the IC title belt against AJ Styles. Uh, on a Smackdown bef the week before SummerSlam. And um, the last pay-per-view he was in, it was in a ladder match. Uh, that was at Clash of Champions. The match between AJ Styles and Sami Zayn for the IC title belt. So, yeah, they're just basically, WWE's basically backed themselves in the corner. So, anyway, I'm going to go with Elias getting the victory. Um, so, let's move on to the Hell in a Cell matches. Uh, the first Hell in a Cell match gonna, I'm going to cover... We got Drew McIntyre defending the WWE Championship against Randy Orton free. This is the third time Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre face one on one on a pay per view. I thought the blow off was at Clash of Champions the previous month's pay per view. I was wrong. Well, most people I was wrong because it's so predictable that Drew's going to win. I can see Drew's going to win. Because he defeated Randy Orton, I think it was, at SummerSlam. That was the first match. The second match, he defeated Randy Orton in the ambulance match at Clash of Champions. It's so predictable. Yeah, I like Randy Orton, don't get me wrong. You know, 
all this momentum that Randy Orton gained, it's all fucking gone. You know, he had a best match with um, he had two or well, three best matches so far in 2020 so far. You know, against uh, Edge, um, that greatest wrestling match that was not so great. It was a solid good match at Backlash. He had a great match with Drew at SummerSlam, and then the previous match, the Ambulance match at Clash of Champions. You know, he's bought like a loser. I'm sorry, he is. You know, Drew and Randy Orton got to be one of the top two stars so far for 2020. The best WWE stars in 2020. And the, they're going to face each other every time on a pay-per-view. That's the theme right now. They need to break away this uh, Drew and Randy Orton feud. They've been doing it. They've been, do, they've been feuding since the summer. I think they, this is knees. to do, This is, should be the blow-off. Like I said, Orton's not going to win the title. I'm going to say Drew. Uh, basically, winning. I, I, I can see Drew holding a belt until the start of 2021. Who knows? He might really drop the title at WrestleMania 37. Fingers crossed. Who knows? But anyway. So moving on to... Um, yeah, moving on to the second Hell in a Cell match off this show so far. we got Roman Reigns defending the Universal title against Jey Uso. In the first ever Hell in the Cell I Quit match. Yeah, um, they had a, a decent good match at uh, Clash of Champions. That was the main event of that show. Um, I, I, let's be honest. I like Roman as a heel. I think he's doing well so far as a heel. I think this could be a good match. Don't know is it going to be the match of the night. Who knows. But, um, you know, it's the first Hell in the Cell match since 2015. The last one was... John Cena versus Rusev. That, I think that was at Extreme Rules. No, I think it was at Payback. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah. You know. You know. I hope it's not like this. John Cena s I quit match. You know. Cena gets beaten down. Roman. You know. Gets. You know. He'll get a uh, comeback and make his opponent say I quit. I don't want that. Um. Anyway. I'm gonna go say Roman Reigns winning the uh, the title. Or retaining the title on the show. You know, like I said, J, J, I like Jey Uso, but I don't see him winning the Universal title. I don't think he's single star material. You know, he's better off as a tag team than being a single star. If it, if they tend to do that, break up the Usos, they're basically um, go, they're gonna basically gonna get he's gonna get lost in the shovel. Not just with Jay, but also with Jimmy. If they broke up the Usos, but I don't think so. But Anyway, so I see, yeah, Roman's gonna win uh, this match on the show. So. So moving on to the main event, has to be in the main event of this show because two women are the poster girls for this year's Hell in the Cell 2020 poster. We got Bailey defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Sasha Banks inside Hell in the Cell. Uh, Bailey holding the title for nearly a year now because she defeated Charlotte Flair on a SmackDown. I'm guessing the the first SmackDown after Hell in the Cell because. She defeated Charlotte in her hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina at the last year's uh, Class of the Champions event. And then, you know, like, Charlotte regained the title one month at the last year's Hell in a Cell event in Bailey's hometown of Sacramento, California. So, yeah, Bailey's run so far, I think it's good. You know, it's a good reign because, you know, she had she's put on good matches. You know, good promo segments. You know, she's truly getting over as a heel. She's one of the, in my opinion, one of the top heels in the company so far. And, um, you know, some of the matches so far in Bailey's SmackDown Women's Town Reign has been hit or miss. Like, uh, Asuka's, uh, Bailey and Asuka at uh, the last month's pay per view, you know, Clash of Champions 2020. And Nikki Cross months ago, I think it was at Backlash. Um, I like I like Asuka's match, uh, Bailey and Asuka at SummerSlam, but not that match at Clash of Champions. You know, it's just ended a disqualification, just further up the rivalry between Bailey and Sasha Banks. Um, I think this weekend, I think this is a title change. 
it needs to be a title change. I think Sasha Banks needs to win. Uh, because before we get to that, because um, I think it's the first time in two years they fought one on one. This was on a Raw. This was building up to the very first um women's uh, elimination chamber match at Elimination Chamber. Um, I think it's first time in five years they fought on a pay per view. I think was um, I think it's called NXT Takeover Best Friends Build Enemies in that sick I Women's match between Bailey and Sasha for the title. One of the best. NXT Women's Championship match in living memory. That's for me. I'm a bit of a minority. Um, yeah, and look at the stats in Sasha Banks in Hell in a Cell matches. This is her third Hell in a Cell match. And so far, she lost twice. You know, Charlotte Flair in 2016, Becky Lynch in last year. If she lost to Bailey, another horsewoman, that will completely hurt Sasha Banks. You know, I don't think it's kill a career completely dead, but that truly uh, hurt Sasha. You know, but I think this is me a town change. You know, the um, I like this build up. You know, basically Bailey turned on Sasha, a little bit of a beat down. You know, yeah, they kind of teased it for years, but like they're going full throttle. I, should, I wish they did it at SummerSlam, but that's just uh for me. But doing it in Hell in Cell. You know, in this uh, surrounding environment, I hope it's not going to end in a DQ. Because, like I said, I did a like a video one year ago, says RMP Hell in the Cell, because WWE kind of killed their con concept completely dead after those two Hell in the Cell matches ending in DQ. You know, Roman and Braun ended in DQ after Brock Lesnar interfered, and that fiasco last year between Seth Rollins and The Fiend. So anyway, yeah, I go with uh, Sasha holding. You know, if if, if Bailey re really retains the title on the show, what's next for Bailey? You know, she beat ev ev everybody on the SmackDown Women's uh, locker. Natalia, give me a break. Lana, if she got drafted to uh, SmackDown, no. Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, the former members of the Iconics, no. Tamina, no. Maybe Mandy Rose, maybe down the road. Who knows? But, um, Sonya Deville, who knows? Yeah, yeah, this is a title change, you know. Give Sasha the belt and give her a lengthy run. Not this bullshit like she wins the title on the pay-per-view and then drops the belt a week later. Not this bullshit, you know. The poly book, every time she wins, like, the Roman's title, she hasn't really won a singles belt for three years. The last time she won a singles wins title belt was in 2017 defeat Alexa Bliss at SummerSlam and dropped the title uh, eight days later. You know, over the time, every time Sasha holds the singles belt, she dropped it like days. You know, she never gave her like a lengthy run. You know, the, the only lengthy run as champion was, you know, as the NXT champion way back in 2015. So yeah, give Sasha the belt, give her a pr proper run. And, that, and, that, and, that, and after that, they'll probably do like a rematch down the road, probably at TLC. Hope they do a TLC uh, pay-per-view down the road. I think they will. Instead, hope they're not doing like a two double uh, Clash of Champions, two Clash of Champions events in one year. Thank, hope not, because they did two Roblox events in one year way back in 2016. Two Royal Rumble events in 2018. You know, it's WWE in the modern era. They might do... Some stupid shit. You know, hope not. Hope fucking not. So, yeah, this is my predictions for Hell in a Cell 2020. Hope you like it. Leave your leave thoughts in the comments section below. Smash the like button and subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. And this is the Central Man officially signing out. And I wish every competitor who's wrestling in Hell in a Cell for 2020, I wish, like, the wrestlers good luck. Yeah, this is Sanjay Man officially signing out. Check you later. Yeah, the Hell in the Cell 2020 review will be on Monday. So, you know, stay tuned. I'm out. Peace.